In the heart of California, a man named Ralph had built a reputation as the city's most esteemed detective. His weathered eyes had seen the darkness that hid in the sun-drenched corners of the city, his sharp mind unraveling intricate webs of crime that others found inscrutable. But beneath the veneer of expertise and calm, Ralph harbored a haunted soul, each solved case leaving an indelible mark on his psyche. Ralph had dedicated his life to justice, his existence defined by cryptic clues and the thrill of the chase. Solitary by nature, he found solace in the solitude of his work, the intricate dance of truth and deception providing a welcome respite from the monotony of everyday life. The serene beaches and bustling crowds of California were mere backdrops to the dramatic symphony of his professional life. However, beneath the glamour and thrill of his profession, Ralph was a man wrestling with unseen demons. His job had exposed him to the underbelly of humanity, its ugliness etching deep lines onto his face, his sleep frequently disturbed by the ghosts of unsolved cases. But Ralph wore his scars with pride, his grit and determination earning him the respect of his colleagues in the city's denizens. One day, a chilling crime shook the city. The victim's life had been brutally snuffed out, but it was the killer's calling card that sent shivers down Ralph's spine. At the scene of the crime, a peculiar date was found scribbled in a cryptic manner. It didn't make sense, and that was what piqued Ralph's interest. Another murder followed, and another, each punctuated with a future date, cryptic and elusive. Ralph, drawn to the complexity of the case, found himself slipping into an obsession. The dates consumed him, their inscrutability gnawing at his sanity. He began spending endless nights at his office, surrounded by case files and pinboards plastered with theories and timelines, his eyes constantly darting to the eerily scribbled dates. The dates became an integral part of Ralph's life. He carried them in his pocket, whispered them under his breath, even dreamt about them. The serial killer's horrific signature had intertwined itself with Ralph's existence setting the stage for a descent into a terrifying rabbit hole that promised nothing but darkness. As Ralph drowned deeper into the mysteries of the dates, the boundaries between his professional and personal life blurred. The dates haunted his every moment, creeping into his thoughts and dreams, rendering him a puppet in the hands of an obsession that threatened to consume him whole. Thus began the unsettling journey of Ralph, the seasoned detective turned captive of his own obsession, plunging headlong into a case that would not only challenge his investigative skills, but also his sanity. As the sunny skies of California watched, a horrifying narrative was set in motion, one that would forever change Ralph's life. As days turned into weeks, Ralph delved deeper into the mystery. The grisly murders continued, each bearing the same ominous signature, a future date written in a rushed, frantic scrawl. A cold shiver would run down Ralph's spine every time he laid his eyes on them. He painstakingly scoured each crime scene, his intuition guiding him through the labyrinth of evidence and clues. His office became a sanctuary, a place where he could immerse himself in the enigma of the dates. Photos, timelines, and newspaper clippings dotted the walls, creating a tapestry of chaos only he could decipher. Every possible theory was scrutinized, every lead pursued, but the elusive truth remained just out of reach. It was as if the dates mocked him, their meaning cloaked in a shroud of mystery that he could not penetrate. Then, a chilling pattern began to emerge. The dates at each crime scene corresponded to significant events, mostly tragedies in the city's history. An eerie correlation that sent Ralph's mind spiraling into a whirlwind of theories and suppositions. A chill ran down his spine as he realized the killings were not random acts of violence, but a meticulously planned series of events, each date marking a dark milestone in the city's history. His obsession intensified, feeding on the emerging pattern, growing into a monstrous entity that threatened to consume his sanity. The reality of the situation weighed heavily on him. The killer was not only deranged, but cunning, leaving behind a breadcrumb trail that led to a maze of historical tragedies. The dates were no longer mere scribbles. They were keys, 
keys to a lock he was yet to find. The city slept under the deceptive blanket of the night, oblivious to the looming horror. Ralph, however, was awake, his mind caught in a relentless battle against the clock and the cryptic dates. The beautiful, sunny California that he knew had transformed into a stage for a macabre play. The sandy beaches and lively streets now felt eerie, every corner whispering tales of unseen horrors. The strain on Ralph was palpable. His once vibrant eyes were now dull with fatigue, dark circles marring his rugged features. His peers watched in concern as the vibrant detective they admired slowly transformed into a shadow of his former self. His usual calm demeanor was now tinged with a manic intensity that was as intriguing as it was alarming. Haunted by the elusive dates, Ralph's nights were filled with nightmares. The faces of the victims would visit him, their eyes pleading, voices whispering the dates over and over. The terror of his dreams seeped into his waking hours, casting a dark shadow over his life. His mental health teetered on the brink of collapse, the onslaught of the case pushing him into uncharted territories of his mind. The grueling pace and the constant dead ends wore him down, the pressure mounting with each passing day. His once orderly world was now a vortex of confusion, a torturous cycle of hope and despair. Ralph's obsession with the case isolated him, creating a chasm between him and the rest of the world. The people he once interacted with became distant figures, their voices fading into a dull hum in the background of his consumed consciousness. Despite the toll it was taking, Ralph pushed on, clinging desperately to his belief that he could crack the case. He saw the fear in the city's eyes, and it spurred him on. His journey into the labyrinth of his mind and the city's dark history continued, each step dragging him further into the maw of madness. Little did he know that this path was not leading him to the killer, but to a horrifying revelation about himself. As the sun rose and set over the city, the horrifying narrative continued to unfurl, Ralph's sanity becoming the tragic collateral damage in this gruesome game of cat and mouse. His pursuit of the killer was not just an investigation, it was a race against time and his impending descent into madness. After months of chasing shadows, the day of reckoning arrived. A tip led Ralph to a decrepit warehouse in the city's old industrial district. The air was thick with tension as Ralph and his team surrounded the building, their hearts pounding in their chests. The door creaked open, and there he was, the serial killer the puppeteer who had been pulling the strings all along. The capture was anticlimactic, almost too easy. The killer surrendered without a struggle, a cryptic smile playing on his lips, eyes gleaming with a strange delight. As the officers handcuffed him, Ralph couldn't help but feel a sense of foreboding. This was the beginning of the end, but not the end he had anticipated. Back at the precinct, the captured killer finally broke his silence. He confirmed Ralph's theories about the dates and their significance. Each date was indeed marking the city's historical tragedies. But the final revelation was the most shocking. The future dates were marking Ralph's own killings. A wave of cold horror washed over Ralph. The room began to spin, the killer's words echoing in his mind like a demonic chorus. The cryptic dates he'd been obsessing over were not mere clues— they were predictions, markers of his descent into madness and the gruesome future awaiting him. Ralph's world shattered. The line between reality and delusion blurred, the paradox of the situation gnawing at his sanity. He was the detective, the pursuer of justice, and the killer, the roles merging into a terrifying mirage that threatened to swallow him whole. His reflection in the mirror now bore the face of a monster, the weight of his impending fate transforming his familiar features into something grotesque and unfamiliar. The realization of the paradox set off a mental breakdown. The world around him morphed into a nightmarish landscape, the faces of his victims merging with his own, their screams echoing in his mind. The fear, the dread, the confusion, it was too much, the walls of his sanity crumbling under the onslaught. His dreams, once plagued by the dates, now featured his own crimes his hands stained with the blood of his victims. 
Each morning he woke up drenched in sweat, the echo of his victim's screams ringing in his ears. Ralph was trapped in a paradox, the hunter and the hunted, the detective and the killer. His colleagues watched helplessly as Ralph spiraled down the abyss of insanity, his brilliant mind now a playground for horrific delusions. San Jose, once a symbol of hope and vibrancy, was now a grim backdrop to Ralph's unraveling sanity. Ralph's grasp on reality was slipping away, the horrifying truth warping his perception. His own reflection stared back at him from the crime scene photos, the evidence of his guilt etched into the faces of his victims. He was caught in a vortex of insanity, the horror of his paradox pushing him towards the edge. Ralph's descent into madness marked the height of this gruesome narrative. His relentless pursuit of justice led him down a dark path, revealing a horrifying truth about his own self. A paradox was set in motion that would forever warp his reality. As Ralph succumbed to the stark revelation of his fate, the distinction between the detective and the killer blurred, their roles merging into a terrifying portrait of insanity. Ralph, grappling with the horrors of his fate, was thrust into a desperate battle against time. He sought to change the outcome, to break the chains of the paradox that had entwined his life in its cruel grasp. His every waking moment was dedicated to proving the prediction wrong, to reclaim the sanity that was slipping away from him like sand through clenched fingers. But as the days passed, his attempts became increasingly futile. He buried himself in work, seeking refuge in the mundanity of routine. But the haunting prophecy was always lurking at the back of his mind. His reflection in the mirror was a constant reminder of the killer he was destined to become. The future dates, once elusive and cryptic, had become a ticking time bomb, their impending arrival a cruel reminder of his impending doom. Ralph tried seeking help, turning to psychiatrists and therapists, but their words were no match for the horrifying reality that loomed over him. No amount of counseling or medication could eradicate the terror instilled by the prediction. His every move, every thought was shadowed by the chilling prophecy, the fear of succumbing to the prediction gnawing at his soul. Meanwhile, San Jose was in the grip of horror. The capture of the serial killer had done nothing to assuage the terror that had seeped into the hearts of its residents. News of Ralph's prediction had leaked, setting off a wave of panic and fear. The city, once sunny and synonymous with joy and freedom, was now shrouded in the ominous shadow of impending terror. The vibrant streets were desolate, the lively beaches deserted. Fearful glances replaced friendly smiles, whispers of the impending doom replacing the cheerful chatter. The city was in a state of paralysis, its heartbeat muffled under the weight of the dreadful prophecy. California, once Ralph's home, was now a prison each corner echoing the grim fate that awaited him. The city he had vowed to protect was now a living reminder of his impending transformation. The vibrant cityscape was now tainted with the hues of horror, its beauty overshadowed by the dark prophecy. Ralph's attempts to change his fate became a futile struggle against the inevitable. His life, once marked by a thirst for justice, was now overshadowed by a terrifying prophecy. California, once a beacon of hope and vitality, was now gripped by a fear that stemmed from one of its own. As the days passed, the reality of Ralph's fate and the city's fear became intertwined, creating a chilling atmosphere that hung over the city like a deadly shroud. Ralph's battle against his fate culminated in a soul-shattering surrender. His reality twisted and warped, the weight of the paradox crushing his sanity. As the dreaded dates approached, Ralph finally gave in to his horrifying destiny, the last fragments of his sanity swallowed by the shadows of madness. His reflection no longer bore the face of the detective he once was. Instead, the mirror revealed a terrifying truth, a man consumed by his own insanity, a looming killer lost within the labyrinth of his mind. He had become the paradox he had sought to unravel, the lines between detective and killer blurring into an indistinguishable mess. At the same time, San Jose remained in the clutches of terror. 
This bustling paradise, once vibrant with life, now bore the scars of the horror that had unfolded within its boundaries. The lively streets were silenced, the residents forever haunted by the gruesome saga that had consumed one of their own. The serial killer's capture and Ralph's terrifying prophecy had left a lasting impact. California's radiant facade was tainted, a dark shadow lingering behind its bright veneer. The residents, once carefree and full of life, were now marked by fear and apprehension, the remnants of the horror still echoing in their hearts. Readers, too, were left haunted by the terrifying journey they had embarked upon. Ralph's descent into madness and the city's spiral into fear served as a chilling reminder of the power of the human mind and the terrifying realities it could create. The horror wasn't confined to the pages. It bled into the real world, imprinting on their minds and hearts. The story of Ralph, the detective-turned-killer, was a grim tale of the struggle against fate and the inevitable descent into madness. It was a testament to the horrific implications of the paradox and the lasting impact it could have on a person and a city. Ralph's surrender to madness marked the end of the journey, leaving behind a haunting narrative that resonated with readers and San Jose alike.